We aren't going to build an electric generator to provide your house with electricity. Rather, we'll build a small experimental generator. Electric generators can be called energy converters as they convert heat energy or kinetic energy, energy from motion into electrical energy. Here, we describe how to use readily available materials to make a simple generator. Although it will only be powerful enough to light a small torch bulb, it works on the same basic principles as the power station generators that supply domestic electricity. To be able to make a generator, these are the materials. Wires, rubber band, bolts and nuts, torch bulb, CD spindle platter from a spare DVD player, a metal tube, dynamo, bottle caps, and at least two compact discs. Decide what source of energy you want to convert to electricity. In this case, we will use a CD wheel in a tubular metal as a wind-up mechanism. Using two compact discs and a hot glue, make a rotary wheel to your generator. This serves as the source of energy that will be converted to electrical energy. The mechanical energy produced by winding the wheel is converted by the dynamo to electrical energy for the torch bulb to light. Punch holes in two bottle cups and glue them at the center of the discs adjacent to one another. Insert a metal rod or bolt to the axis and secure it with the nut. Find the base for your wheel. You can use cardboard or other available materials such as a tubular metal like this. Glue it firmly on a plywood base. Insert your rotary wheel and secure it firmly with a nut but ensure that it can still rotate flawlessly. We will make our handle by gluing another bolt firmly on our wheel. We will make our axle on our dynamo using a CD spindle platter from a spare DVD player. Connect wires into your dynamo and with the other end of the wires to a small torch bulb. Note the maximum volts that can be produced by your dynamo and the volts that your torch bulb requires. We will use a dynamo that can produce an output of 5 volts and a small torch bulb that meets only 1.5 volts. Glue your dynamo to your base. And finally, use a rubber band or any string to connect your dynamo to your CD wheel. And there you have it, your do-it-yourself generator. The theory behind an electric generator is that the variation of a magnetic field produces an electric current through a wire loop. When an electric current flows through a wire, it generates a three-dimensional magnetic force field around the wire, similar to that surrounding a bar magnet. Magnets are also surrounded by a similar three-dimensional field. The generator or dynamo is made up of a stationary magnets called stator which create a powerful magnetic field, and a rotating magnet called rotor, which distorts and cuts through the magnetic lines of flux of the stator. When the rotor cuts through the lines of a magnetic flux, it makes electricity. But why? Due to Faraday's law of induction, if you take a wire and move it back and forth in a magnetic field, the field pushes on electrons in the metal. Copper has 27 electrons. The last two in the orbit are easily pushed on to the next atom. 
this movement of electrons is electrical flow.